phone. This isn't a website or anything. This is literally just the contact information in your phone. Today we're going to be going over how to get a downloadable vCard link right into your contact. So now when you touch NFC, it brings you to the actual contact information that's native to the phone. This isn't a website or anything, this is literally just the contact information in your phone, which is pretty cool. So how to do that, you ask. Super simple. We start with just going to Safari. Gotta get out of my contact thing here. Alright, so you go to Safari and it's a site called vcard.link. I'll leave a link to that in my bio here. Um, it already preloads for me, so vcard.link and go. It's the super most simplest site on the planet. It's super easy to use. So all you have to do is just fill out the contact info that you want to show up within your contact card when you do it. I'm just going to do it for you real quick. So. You do have to, uh, it doesn't really necessarily tell you this, but you do have to do the authentication here, which says, um, it's, it's like creating an account so you can go back and edit it, but it doesn't say that you have to do it, but when you try to do it without creating an account, it actually doesn't save and it gives you an error, but it doesn't tell you why and it's just really annoying. So I actually already have an account, so I'm just going to add in my stuff. Um, so we'll just make it a, a contact card real quick. So let's put my name in here. So we got first name Tyler, last name Wilcha. Um, you could do your date of birth if you want, so people will know your birthday. I don't really care for that. Um, your position, so you could say like, I don't know, sales, executive, uh, perfect. You could say your company name, like sales.co, I don't know, salesco. Uh, you could add your phone number. Let's do, 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 phone number right there. And you could add your email address, which in this case, you know, I'll just do T at, t.com just to make it simple um, and then you can add a website if you like exit out of that as we move down you can add notes for whatever reason you got multiple things and once you're done with that you hit create v card right there oops right there creates it so this is now your personal website page which is kind of cool but the coolest part is if you hit share right here in the middle you hit share it comes up with four different links and the one we want is this VCF file. It's the third one down because that's a downloadable .vcard file. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So now we copy that link, copy to our dashboard here. And you just go to your simple NFC tools app. I have a couple tutorial videos on how to use this. Um, it'll, it'll start you right here on the screen. You hit right, add a record, custom URL. I'm doing this fast because like I said, I have two other videos on how to program a chip. I'm gonna paste my link there that I just got from the V card. Hit OK. And then I'm gonna write my new card. So let's see, we'll just pick uh, this one right here. Actually, we'll do a new one. So that was because we already programmed this one. I don't want you to think I'm lying here. So we're gonna go with a blank card. So there's actually nothing that comes up when you scan this metal card here. So what we're going to do is go back to the NFC Tools app and write this card with our new link that we just came up with. Boom. Just wrote this tag, and now when I touch this tag, it should come up with my V card information. And there we go, it goes right to my contact information that I just inputted right in front of you on the site. And I'll do that every single time we touch the card. That's simple, um, works with pretty much any type of NFC card that you have here, um, all the same stuff. Pretty cool. And then from there, you can go back and edit it if you like. There are a couple other options here. Um, that we had, let's see. Hold on, I just deleted everything. All right, so these other couple options that we have here, which is web URL, this actually goes right to this page right here. So if you do the web URL, it comes to this like live website form of the contact. If we do uh, the QR code, this just generates a QR code for you, which is pretty cool. Honestly, I don't know what this last file is. I never used it. I don't know, the other three I'm satisfied with, so I never really had the purpose to learn what that is. And other than that, it's, it's, that's it. Um, the only thing to note here is you do still have to have internet service to use this. This doesn't save the contact info inside of the chip. It saves the web link. And the web link is a redirect. So you can see it when I click it, it actually goes to the web page real quick there for a second. Let me just do it again. Uh, hold on. So it goes to the web page 
and then goes to the contact. It's very quick. I don't know if you saw that. But because of that, you need to have service because what it's doing is redirecting you to the web page and the web page is redirecting you to the .vcard file which pulls up this information. So you can't just use this in the middle of a farm where there's no service or something like that. You do still have to have some kind of internet. Usually just regular 3G works. This is all simple, simple memory stuff. So other than that, we are all good and that, that's how you do it. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments. I will answer them probably within 24 hours or less, probably in two hours, embarrassingly so. Or, you know what, I could get some of the questions out of the way right now. So a couple common questions. How do you program an NFC tag? Great. I made a video for that already. I'll leave a link somewhere around me here. Um, you'll see that soon. Can I use this on airplane mode? No, you can't scan an NFC tag on airplane mode at all because it actually uses a form of Bluetooth to scan the tag. So no, and either way, it does redirect through the website to download the V-card, so you need internet access to do so. Uh, does it work with Android? Great question. It does most of the time. Android is definitely a little funky. It actually downloads the file separately. It's not like iPhone that pulls up the contact information immediately. Android actually just downloads the file, then you have to go find the file and click on it to open the contact information. Not as easy. Not every Android does it that way. Some do it like iPhone, some do not. I don't really have a list for you, unfortunately, because I only have owned one or two Androids in my life. I know it works with the Galaxy series. Uh, can you do, 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 can you put this link anywhere? Yes, you can. If you have like Linktree, for example, or Contact in Bio, or Flow Code, or Shoreby, there's a million of them. You can put this as part of your links, and it'll be downloadable from your actual page, which is really cool. And uh, what happens when you click it on a desktop computer? So say you put it in your Linktree, and then somebody visits it on a desktop, and you click it. It actually just downloads the file right into their downloads folder, which is pretty cool. And when they click on it, it'll ask them to save it to their contact information on their computer, which ultimately iClouds it over to your phone or whatever it may be. And other than that, I think that's pretty much all the questions that I could come up with here on the spot. I'm sure you have a lot more, so please ask them in the comments and I will be sure to answer them quickly.